What is up, all my crypto fans? You can probably tell. You're probably asking this. Probably asking yourself. Are we heading towards a bear market? Shouldn't we cut our losses? Should we sell? Well, in this video, we're going to answer that. And I'm going to give you my best estimate because I'm not a financial advisor or anything. But I'm going to give you my estimate. And I want to let you know what's going through my head so that you can better make decisions. So over here, as you can tell, Bitcoin dropped right there. This is dropped over here hard. Let's go to another one. Let's check out Ethereum. Same thing with all the DAOs. All the DAOs have dropped. Well, there's a reason for this. Let's go to Ethereum. Put it on max. Give it a second. And it's not dropping as bad as Bitcoin, but it's still went down to 39 to four grand, all the way from like kind of almost around five. Almost. Not as bad as Bitcoin there. But let's talk about some of the DAOs that we're in. Let's talk about Olympus. I see how Olympus V1 is also doing too. Oh, all right, Olympus. Olympus is down to a little bit of a hard hit right here. Let's go to max. Is that max? Cool. Olympus is going down as well. Let's check out strong. Strong went up, going down. Let's check out Ring. I know Ring's a new project, but I'm into it. I'm down to 177 today. Wow. All time low is 145, 24 hour. 145. Usually Ring stays around the two, I'll say 250s to maybe like 300 range, usually where it's around. This is dropping today. But there's a reason for that. And mostly because all these DAOs, they're all centralized around like Ethereum, the Ethereum network. And Ethereum kind of just follows Bitcoin. So we can understand why the DAOs are following those big coins like Bitcoin, especially. Why most things kind of like following around Bitcoin because Ethereum, most things are, are centralized or not centralized are are compared or in retrospect to to ethereum whereas if ethereum's going up chances are some of your, your DAOs are going to go up if ethereum's going down chances are your your DAOs are going to go down that's just how it is but why are these big coins like ethereum and bitcoin also going down why is that and should i be concerned should i start pulling out my money Let's check out this really quick. Let's check out, um, well, Ethereum is not that bad. And Bitcoin is what most people are kind of concerned about. Wow, we're not 1.3% today. Cool. <laughs> All right. Let's open Max. You see, it kind of went down. Straight to the point, I wouldn't be too concerned about it because there's a couple of reasons. First, holidays coming up, and most people want to get out, get their profits. And second reason, it's towards the end of the year. So once again, people want to cut their profits and they want to get out. And then most of the whales and then the people, uh, and then people after that follow in them steps and get emotional and then it goes down. That's just typically how it is. But the reason why I won't be concerned and when I'll be concerned is here's a good little chart that I actually kind of like draw on. This is trading view, trading view over here. And this is Bitcoin. Now I understand that it probably it seems so different than here, but this is going from like 2014. This is going from 2016. So 2016, uh, over here kind of, so like what, 600, so here, it's not around there. Whatever. 
this looks a little different, but this can give you a better representation, a lot better representation, kind of what's going on. Because this over here, to be honest, this looks scary. It looks like it's plummeting. Whereas if you look at it as a whole, if you really take a look at it, it's not really plummeting. This is where most people are kind of concerned about what's going on. Or maybe this one, most people are concerned, you know? But Bitcoin right now, it's screwing fine. So what I usually do, this is when I would get concerned. Let's do the entire graph over here. When I would get concerned, when, that's when I just get concerned. Once this crosses this line is when I will get concerned and well, not really get concerned, but actually analyze this a lot more as I'm trying to say and make a more estimated predictable move based upon this dropping below this is what I'm trying to say. So should you take your money out? No, because if you look at Bitcoin too, if you really analyze it, oops entire way up over here entire way up here bitcoin maybe not put in a month let me put it on like a week entire way up bitcoin's always going goes up and it goes down a little bit goes up goes down a little bit goes up and it drops and we see this pattern but realistic entire time bitcoin kind of always stays ahead, you know? It might trick us a little bit when these whales just sell a bunch of take profits and then people emotionally follow them. But realistically, that's just going to happen, you know? And if you look at it, this is kind of its all-time high right there. So let's just try this over here. All-time high is like the very top right there. And it already passed that. So I don't... I don't see why Bitcoin would have a hard time passing that again. Another point of concern, maybe this is when I'll make another YouTube video is if it goes under there. But that's kind of close to where I was talking about right there. Kind of another concern. So I see this happening is Make another one kind of like right over here. What I see happening is yes, Bitcoin might tank a little bit more. It's probably gonna hit this line. But once it hit this line is when you can kind of make a decision is if you should buy the dip or if you should sell. All right, so let me draw. Let me just so get this real quick, highlighter. All right, it's gonna go down, go over here. After bumping over here, if it goes up here, I would buy. If it goes down below here, oops, I would just sell. Simple as that. Or at least if it goes down in here, I would watch it for another one of my videos to see what's going on so I can analyze it even more. But that's just kind of my playthrough. Obviously, I'm not an expert. That's just kind of my, based upon my experience and my estimate, what to really do and how to handle the situation. Like I said, this isn't unheard of. This is going to happen. Nothing, it's not nothing crazy, you know, it's really, it's really not. This is how Bitcoin is. And to say that I can predict, by the way, to say that I can predict Bitcoin, like you can't, I can't really predict Bitcoin, but based upon it's what's happening, I can make a good estimate on what to do next. So I would wait for it to hit here and then make a judgment from there. If it go, if you see it going up, I would buy, because I'll just buy the dip. If you see it going down, uh, I'll see. I'll watch over another one of my videos, or I'll make my own judgment, or you can make your own judgment on whether you should sell it, you hold, or whatever you should do. This is kind of like the the unknown kind of. Here it goes. Oops. If it goes down below here, get a little drawing thing over here, a little brush. If it goes down around here, I could say it goes down over here. It can go up, or it can go completely down. This over here is another point where you gotta make another decision. You can go over here, or you can just go something like that. I can do whatever, you know? But this is really when you start selling. I mean, this is why I don't really like shorting, to be honest, when it comes to stocks. Because over here, it's kind of more difficult to predict. You can in comparison, just buying it, 
It's a lot easier to understand. What I'm trying to say is make your own guesstimate, <laughs> right? That's my best anal analysis for Bitcoin. Ethereum, I don't think there's really a problem with Ethereum. I mean, most people are just talking about Bitcoin. That's what I'm hearing. Because once again, nothing too crazy is going on with, oops, nothing really too crazy is going on with Ethereum. Yeah, it's some lows over here, but still, still rising up. It's not like it dropped like Bitcoin did. And even then, Bitcoin really didn't drop. Let's go, let's check this out. Let's check out Ethereum. Go to all. Once again. That's kind of where we get concerned. Once it goes below there. And then right now, is it dropping? Does it look like a bearish market? I don't think so. It's, I think this, Ethereum, is just gonna continue to follow along right there. You know, and if it if it crosses down here, depending on how you're trading, depending on what strategy you're really doing, I'm not gonna try to overanalyze analyze this. Depending on what type of strategy you're doing, if it goes below this, I would just watch out for this. I'll put a notification maybe around here. You know, this is kind of where I put a notification. Up. Then to just kind of like watch it, you know what I mean? And then it goes on below this is when I would try to sell. Strong. Whoops. Let's talk about strong. Strong is like my favorite. I love strong. Strong. Should you get out of strong? I don't think so. Because right now what's going on with Strong is they're implementing a whole bunch of new platforms. The biggest thing that, a couple of things that really knocked Strong down over here was the fact that there's a whole bunch of DAOs flooding the market. Obviously you got pumped really heavy over here, but over on here, a whole bunch of DAOs really just started entering the market. Olympus, Wonderland, Rings, like the list goes on, Snowbank, don't do Snowbank, don't think about that. A uh, bunch of other ones. This is like endless. Hector, a whole bunch of DAOs came into the market around here. So that also helped it decrease. And the thing about that is that when there's more DAOs, more projects for you to invest in, they'll probably take out of there, go into other DAOs. And just to that strong, you have to pay a tremendous gas fees when you're taking the strong out and then reinvesting it back in to get another node. You know, I, I'd probably talk about this before, but one of my buddies, he has like 40, 50 nodes every time single time he takes money out it's like two g's and just gas feeds and putting it back in to get another node that's probably around another grand or two to get another node or to put it to put more money back into getting nodes depending on how much he's putting in so that's a problem that strong is trying to figure out trying to fix right now which is why they're trying to implement uh the polygon network and they're trying to implement the phantom network as well um this over here is not enough for me to judge whether or not it's not skyrocket again. It's not. But I do see Strong as a very great investment project for the long term because Strong's entire mojo is like, yo, I want to benefit the blockchain. I want to help Ethereum out and verifying transactions. That's the entire concept for Strong. And as you can see, it's, let me go over here, Strong block. It's partnered up with some amazing people. So it's partnered up with some amazing network people, amazing projects. It's fan, partnered up with the Phantom Network, Polygon, Sentinel, um, Bitcoin.com, Pangea, pretty much Phantom, Polygon, Sentinel, the biggest things over here. And they're trying to expand, not only to have go to Ethereum, but try to help out Phantom and the Polygon Network. So that I do believe will help it jump back up and get more livelihood into the project, get more investors into the project. Ring Financial.
if it loads up <laughs> and shall this I love it when things just don't load, especially when I'm making a video. It's the best feeling in the world. I'm sure you guys love it too. You can pause this video. So as per Olympus, why is Olympus going down? Well, the main reason why I believe is first end of the year holidays, simple stuff, simple excuses. But also, they're implementing a new migration. So if you go to CoinGecko, you click on this. They're implementing a new migration that I saw I, I saw a while ago on the Discord, where they're transitioning from Ohm one to Ohm, from G Ohm, so staked Ohm to G Ohm. Uh, I don't really know too much about this to really try to sound smart about it, but what I know it's just as to be more efficient. Um, Keeping that in mind, usually when you see transitions like this, you are going to see the price decrease because not a lot of people like to be investing in something while they are doing maintenance or something like that. And we saw that with Ring. You know, we saw that with when, when that happened with Ring. So go to Ring over here, Ring Financial. So when it happened to Ring, when Ring got hacked, it plummeted. You know, right now it's starting to plummet again. Why is Ring starting to plummet again? To be honest, I don't really have the exact answer for this, but right now Ring is actually doing a whole lot. They're trying to implement a whole lot. They just launched the app. Not gonna lie, the app is a little buggy. I tried to move over 11 Ring from the app to my MetaMask and I came out with like nine. It's buggy. All right, and people don't like buggy stuff. People like projects that work, you know? Even when I tried to move, I, I, today I had like two ring, two or three ring, and I tried to take those two or three ring and I tried to move it over to MetaMask and I charge, it was like 60 cents, nothing crazy. But when I moved that two or three ring over, I, I did this when I was in the gym. I lost two ring. I only had like one. So I'm saying that, but app is still buggy. It's still very, very new. Even though the app, I'm not gonna lie, the app looks so good. And what, what they did with the website, it looks so much better. And if you guys don't already know, if you haven't already checked it out, I'll show you. It looks so much better, guys. And I love the fact that they implemented an app on here so that you don't go to your computer and do this process, you know? But they, they launched a new app. They have a whole new website going up. And like I said, same thing with Olympus. It's usually what happens when doing maintenance and doing work if they see something that's buggy that's usually a i wouldn't say a red flag but it doesn't allow for it just kind of is common sense you wouldn't want to invest in something that's buggy right now you would wait for it to fully work for those whales to kind of hop on you know because somebody with a huge bag is not going to want to invest into something that's buggy so that's kind of a main thing that's going on with Ring right now. And that is, that is realized in the Discord and Ring. So hopefully they can get their shit together. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's kind of my analysis of some of the passive income producing assets that we've been investing into. If you guys like this type of video, let me know. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, let me know. So I'm always more than happy to answer it. Once again, not financial advice, just what I'm doing, what I believe, so that I can try to help you make the, your own best educated guess. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Peace out. See you up there. That's the top right there. See you up there. Peace out.